your boldness level is dropping. You are always afraid. Fear limits you. Like somebody saying, I'm afraid to drive. Because of that, you probably don't go anywhere. Or you've been spending money on Uber. Or you're begging people for a ride. Meanwhile, you're supposed to go out in your car and do a lot of stuff. But because of fear, you can't even do nothing. Or you're taking the bus when you have a car in the house. Fear limits you. Some of you are limited because of fear. And that's not the spirit that God gave you. That thing that you are afraid of. The spirit that God gave you is greater than that thing. It's more powerful than that thing. You that is afraid of the dark. Turn off that light and stay alone. Say, touch me and you die. <laughs> I say, turn off the light. Sleep. You touch me by mistake. You die by correction. You will wake up and nothing will happen to you. You that is praying and you are afraid to close your eyes when you pray. Pray and say anything that can touch you. Let it touch you and see what will happen. Nothing will touch you. Those things that you are afraid of, they are afraid of you too. The enemy uses fear to handicap you. When the devil wants to attack you, he puts fear in you. And before you know it, it affects your prayer life. It affects everything you do. And then they will come and attack. Fear is the greatest tool that the enemy uses against believers. Even when angels appear, they will tell you, fear not. Even Jesus, he told his disciples several times, don't be afraid or fear not, it is I. It is me. Remember when he was walking on the, on the water, they were saying, oh, it's a ghost, it's a ghost. It's the devil that put that fear in them. Why would it be a ghost? He said, fear not, it is I. It is me. He removes fear. Even Peter, when Peter was walking on the water to meet Jesus, he was walking because he had faith. But the moment he got afraid, he started to sink. But before that, he was walking on the water. But the moment he got afraid, he got attacked and he started to drown. And Jesus said, why did you doubt? So fear has to do with doubt. Fear and doubt, they walk hand in hand together. All of you, type this. From today, I will be fearless. 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 Because God is with me. And God has given me his spirit. And his spirit is not afraid of anything, of nobody. He's not giving us the spirit of fear. I would not allow the enemy to limit me anymore. I would not allow the enemy to drown me anymore. I don't want to drown like Peter was almost drowning in that sea. If Jesus had not pulled him up, he would have died in that place because of fear. Do you know how many people have been drowning because of fear? From today, I will be fearless. You need to confront that thing that has been making you afraid. <laughs> All of you, I need you to get up right now. I need you to get up. I want to get up too. What is that thing you are afraid of? <laughs> you will call it by name. We are going to pray. You will say, enough is enough. You have held me hostage for so long. You have put me in bondage for so long. From today, I refuse to be afraid. From today, you will not have your grip on me anymore. Begin to pray. That thing that you are afraid of. Speak to that thing. You demon. Out of here in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be afraid. God has not given me the spirit of fear. But of power and of love and 
have a sound mind. So I refuse to be afraid. You have no power over me. You have no hold over me. Your time is up. Out of this place. I will pray. I will not be afraid. I will drive. I will not be afraid. My husband will not leave me. My wife will not leave me. I will not lose my children. I will not lose my job. You need to pray. Therefore, you are a liar. You will no longer whisper to me. I will not hear you again. I will not pay attention to you again. You have limited me for so long. You have held me captive for so long. Today, I come out of this bondage. Nothing will happen to me because God is with me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in you. Than you that is speaking to me, putting fear in me. I refuse to fear. Enough is enough. You have limited me for so long. I will speak in public. I will give the message that God is giving me to give. I will sing in public. I will do what God has called me to do. Nothing will hold me back. I will not be afraid. And even if I lose my job, God will give me a better job. I want you to pray. Repeat it. There are some of you who are afraid of everything. The devil told you you are not good enough. You will not succeed. You will not do well. If you try it, they will laugh at you. They will mock you. Let them laugh. Let them mock. They don't give me life. God gives me life. They are not the ones keeping me alive. I don't care. Repeat it. Russo porondo. Brekuska balanda. But I refuse to fear. By now, some of you would have gone far in life. But you have been limited because of one fear or the other. Enough is enough. Lose your hold from them, you spirit of fear. Out of them in the name of Jesus. Nothing will happen to you. You can enjoy your house by yourself. You can enjoy your car. Enjoy your marriage. Yes, nobody will take anything from you. Pray. That thing that you have been afraid of that will catch you when you close your eyes for pray. Let that thing come. You are ready. Come and touch me and die. Hey. That's right. That's right. God has given you power. You are powerful. Because you have God's spirit residing inside of you. You are powerful. You are powerful. You are powerful. You are powerful. I say you are powerful. You have a sound mind. You can think. You have self-control. You have love for God. For people. Hey! Jesus, enough is enough. You demons. Lose your hold. You don't belong here anymore. I have entertained you for so long. Now it's time for you to get out. Let me fulfill my destiny. I told you about Peter. Peter was afraid. He told them he did not know Jesus three times. He felt so bad, he cried. But look at what happened to him. When the fear left him. And the spirit of God took over him. Hey, he fulfilled his destiny. Jesus already told him, he said, follow me and I will make you fish out of men. The day that he received the spirit of God, he was able to fulfill his destiny. That word that Jesus spoke over his life, it began to happen in his life. Because fear left him. The word that God has spoken over your life, it is not going to happen unless fear goes away even as you're praying it's like something is happening to you you feel supercharged yes 
you are somebody you are important you are special you are a warrior God brought you here on an assignment and devil wanted to handicap you with fear not anymore I said not anymore not anymore thank you Jesus Just raise up your right hand wherever you are. From today, every spirit of fear, I command it to come out of you in the name of Jesus. Fear of the unknown, fear of dark, fear of driving, fear of whatever, out of them in the name of Jesus. I speak boldness over your life. I speak love over your life. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Receive power from heaven. Let the love of God fill your heart. Let the love of people fill your heart. In the name of Jesus, you will no longer be afraid from now on. You will never disobey God again because of fear. In the name of Jesus, you are starting afresh with God. You are a warrior. You will not let God down again because of fear. You are free in the name of Jesus. Devil will no longer speak to you. In the name of Jesus, I shut that voice. I shut it up. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Tell us how you feel. Some of you, you will feel like something left you. After praying like that, it's like something happened to you. You will feel so light because this is a spirit, it's a spirit of fear that is coming to overshadow the spirit of God inside of you, that is coming to take over your life. Hey, Borobosia, some of you are even sweating. This small prayer you did, you are already sweating. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, I say you will no longer be afraid. <laughs> hey. He said he did not give us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind sound mind not a manipulated mind not a fearful mind not a confused mind so that spirit of confusion is gone too tell us how you feel right now that's right it's like you just got deliverance right now Like you just got deliverance right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody say, I feel fire in my right hand. I'm reading your comments. You just got delivered though. <laughs> that thing that you couldn't do before, that the voice has been telling you you couldn't do, now go and do it. You will see how successful you will be. <laughs> You that is a prayer warrior, that they've made you afraid that you can't pray. Begin to pray now. You will see what will happen. <laughs> Somebody said they are yawning. Somebody said they feel free and light. Uh -huh. Somebody said they are feeling sleepy right now. Somebody said they feel at peace. They are sweating. Wow. Somebody said, I felt that something left me. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are delivered. <laughs> hey. Hey, somebody say, I feel like I can breathe properly now. Hallelujah. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. That's right. Go and do that thing that you are afraid of. You will begin to have testimonies now. That's why the devil put the fear in you so you will not do it. <laughs> somebody say, the, the right hand, her right hand has electric shock and she's feeling like a warrior. That's right. That's right. That's right. Somebody say, I'm shaky, teary, and yawning continuously i'm just reading your comments <laughs> somebody say i feel energized <laughs> hey, 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 hey. somebody say all the tears of fear came out and i have regained power that's right that's right that's right that's right it's a spirit and it's good it is good you are free i say you are free people ask me how i'm able to do what i do because I don't have no fear. I'm not afraid of nobody. I'm not afraid of nothing. Because I know the power that is inside of me that God has given me. It's the power above any power out there. 
Oh my God, look at all the comments. <laughs> Somebody say, I am all flamed up. <laughs> Go enter your car and drive. Get that person that is afraid of driving on the freeway. Go and drive on the freeway. Nothing will happen. It is the devil. Uh huh. I don't. I, 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 if I was afraid, I would not come here and be shouting out, out, out. Every day I'll come and be doing deliverance on you. Out. Even those. Do, do you know the kind of attacks that I get when I do this thing? I don't care. I come again the next day. I do some more. Because I'm not going to be limited because of fear when God has a big assignment for me. A lot of people are yawning. That's right. Some of you prayed in a way that you've never prayed. That thing that was telling you you will die. Please. You're not dying now. <laughs> you will live long. You will fulfill your destiny. You will do the work of God. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I just want to say Baba oh, I just want to say Baba oh, Eshe means thank you I just want to say Baba oh, Eshe. I just wanna say, Baba oh, Eshe. We just want to say, Baba oh. We just want to say, Baba, oh, we just want to thank God. What just happened here is deliverance. Some of you say you are yawning, yawning, yawning. Are you guys seeing the comment? Somebody said they feel so much love in their heart. God just delivered you. God just set you free. I just want to say. from today go out there and do like you see me when I'm preaching most times my eyes are closed I don't even open eyes most times I'm not seeing any I can be in a big auditorium preaching it could be a bunch of presidents governors man when I'm on there doing what God called me to do I don't see nobody I'm just doing what God is leading me to do I'm not afraid of faces I'm not afraid of names I'm not afraid of anything for God to be able to use you, fear must leave you. And today you are free in the name of Jesus. Somebody say they feel so bold. That's right. Because that's the power of God that we're talking about. <laughs> hey, you will have to watch this from the beginning if you missed the prayer. You prayed for yourself. You did the deliverance, you know, by praying for yourself. I didn't even pray for you. I was just leading you in prayer. That's how you will pray. Whenever that thing comes over you again, when it tries to come, you pray. You say, you devil, enough is enough. You have been lying to me for years. I'm sick and tired of listening to your lies. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but the power and of love and of a sound mind. The Holy Spirit has nothing to do with fear. So this spirit that is making me afraid is not of God. I command you to come out right now. Oh, 
unless you stop yourself you are unstoppable God has come here to put boldness in you because God has great plans for a lot of you but fear has made you disobey God has made you hide you that is not supposed to be hiding you are supposed to be out there on the stage preaching you are supposed to be out there doing great things but because of fear you are hiding you are hiding you are hiding you are not supposed to be hiding God has put so much in you that the world needs you cannot be hiding the devil wants you to stay hidden so that that thing that God put in you the world will not benefit from it but from today I say you will hide no more in the name of Jesus what if I was hiding so many of you have been delivered I've been healed I've been saved if I was hiding will you be here today enough is enough everybody type this I am not hiding anymore 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 even some of your gifts that God gave you you are hiding your gift because you are afraid you are ashamed you don't want people to laugh at you so you are not using your gift no, you will not hide your gifts anymore. You will use your gift to the glory of God and people will be blessed and God will be glorified. Enough is enough. You are unstoppable unless you stop yourself. You are unstoppable unless you stop yourself. I am unstoppable unless I stop myself. I am not hiding anymore. I am coming out. <laughs> I am coming out. <laughs> I am coming out. <laughs> that thing that God wants me to do, I will do it fearlessly. I will do it boldly. I am not hiding anymore. I am not hiding anymore. God has put so much in me that the world will benefit from. God has put so much in me that the world needs. The world will hear my voice. I am not hiding anymore. I am not hiding anymore. I'm not gonna die hiding. Everything that God tells me to do, I will do boldly. No one can stop me. I am blessed. I have so much gifts. I am anointed. The world will hear of me. The world will hear of me. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I am coming out. I am coming out. I am coming out. When Jesus went to his hometown, they rejected me. They rejected him. They were deeply offended because they say, how is he so powerful and wise? Is this not the same Jesus that we know? The same one that used to do carpentry work? We know his mother, we know his father, we know his brothers and sisters. So where did he get this kind of wisdom from? Where did he get this kind of power? They refused to believe in him. But he came out of his hometown. <laughs> he came out of his hometown. And he went to other places to preach and he was accepted in those places so you are coming out you are coming out of that place uh, that they don't appreciate you you are coming out of that place uh, that they put so much fear in you you are coming out of that place uh, that they are so offended in you you are coming out you are going to places where they will appreciate the gift of God the gift of God the power of God upon your life where they will appreciate what you have to offer you are not going to stay in that place and die just like Jesus did not stay he came out he came out he came out he went to other towns he performed miracles he saved people his ministry grew but if he had stayed in that his hometown nothing would have become of him they would have killed his destiny they would have destroyed him you are coming out you are coming out. You are coming out. 
you are moving from that place you are leaving that place you are going to the new place that God has set for you where you will shine where you will be accepted where you will be appreciated where you will do what God wants you to do but you are not going to stay in that old place where they want to kill you where they complain about everything you do they have a problem with everything you do they are not happy that you are succeeding you are coming out of that place enough is enough I'm not the one speaking God has taken over me it's for somebody stop allowing people to manage you stop being tolerated God did not create you to be tolerated they are just tolerating you no 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 that thing that they claim to be tolerating there are people out there looking for it that will gladly open their arms and accept it you are coming out and going to that place in Jesus name some of you I want to pray for you close your eyes may God reveal to you where you belong in the name of Jesus if the place you are in is the cause of fear is the reason why you cannot succeed may God reveal to you where you need to move to where you need to go receive it in the name of Jesus as I have prayed it I'm speaking it over your life it will happen you will have a dream a revelation a vision and God will show you vividly where you need to be where you'll be accepted where your gift will be celebrated not where you will be tolerated not where they will be saying well let's just manage you like this no 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 they didn't believe in him but he went to other places and they believed and they received they were healed there were lots of testimonies hey thank you father oh I feel I feel, I feel something I feel something I feel something all of you just speak in tongue wherever you are Let's speak in tongues for five minutes. Speak in tongues. Something is happening. For those that don't speak in tongues, receive the gift of tongues in the name of Jesus. For those of you that are not saved yet, say this prayer after me, the salvation prayer. Say, Father Lord, I come into your presence as a sinner. I confess all my sins. Please forgive me. I didn't know any better. I promise not to go back to my old ways. I believe that Jesus Christ came and died for me on the cross of Calvary so that my sins can be wiped away. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. Be the Lord over my life. I promise to serve you forever and ever. In the name of Jesus, now put your hand on your chest. Receive the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. You have received power sound mind and love fear is gone now open your mouth and pray if you don't speak in tongues receive the gift if you don't speak in tongues speak in English but everybody else open your mouth and speak in tongues receive new tongues in the name of Jesus now that you are free you are free from the spirit of fear now pray with every boldness inside of you Ayakotorobos, <laughs> 
Responde, le, 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 le. Resonte, le, grite. Repele, tu, re, de, de, de. Rusite, le, tira. Repunde, le, 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 le. Recusete. Ripara, da, da. Rando, me, le, que, te. Rusite, la, dura. Hey. You will pray like never before. You will pray like you have never prayed before. Rokoto Robo Shaka. They have suppressed you for so long. They have intimidated you for so long. You that used to pray for one hour before. Because of fear. You pray ten minutes, five minutes. You are done. But today you are restored in the name of Jesus. That's right. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. You are coming out. Your eyes are open now. Now you know who you are in Christ. You are a warrior. You are a special person. Oh, you will fulfill your destiny. You are not a fearful person anymore. You are not a confused person anymore. You matter. You are important. <laughs> you are important. God has put so much in you that the world needs. The world will hear of you. You are not hiding anymore. we love you thank you father for giving me this message thank you for liberating your children thank you for freeing them from the spirit of fear thank you for putting boldness and empowering them love thank you for giving them a sound mind thank you for restoring their destinies oh thank you for restoring their prayer lives Thank you for restoring the fire that you put in them. From today, you will not be afraid anymore. From today, you will no longer be intimidated. From today, you will not disobey God again. Whenever God tells you to do something, you will be quick to do it. You will rush and do it without fear, <laughs> without bothering to tell anyone about it. You don't owe anyone explanation. You don't owe anyone explanation about your life. It is God that created you. So when God says do something, you only answer to God. I say from today, you have received supernatural boldness. In the name of Jesus, you are not a failure. You will not fail. You will not die. You will live longer. You will live. You will declare the works of the Lord. You will live to fulfill your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Yes, we just want to serve you. I like that song because it talks about thanking God. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. That's all we can say. Thank you, Jesus, because it is Jesus that is doing this. I don't have any power of my own. It is God that gave me this boldness that I have, this power, this fire, this anointing. So I have to thank him. I have to give him all the glory. That's why I can boldly stand in front of you. Oh Jesus. Baba, oh, 
share. I just want to tell you, my boy, I share. We love you, Baba. We love you, Father. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Yahweh. We love you, El Shaddai. We love you, King of Kings. We love you, Lord of Lords. We love you, Elohim. We love you, Jesus. We thank you for all you've done. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for healing. We thank you for restoration. We thank you for power. We thank you for opening our eyes. Oh, we thank you for everything, Father. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. All the adoration. We love you. We exalt your holy name. We worship you, Father. We worship you, Father. We adore you, Jesus. We adore you. We adore you. We adore you. We adore you. Oh, yes, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you for your presence, Lord. We are not ashamed of you, Lord. You say if anyone is ashamed of you, you said you will be ashamed of them too when you come back. So we are not ashamed of you. We will tell people about you. We will tell the world about you. We will boldly proclaim the gospel. We will tell everyone about you. We are not afraid to die. You said if we hold on tight to our lives, we will lose it. But if we are willing to give it up for your sake, for the sake of the gospel, you said we will save it. We are willing to give it up, Lord. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We want the world to know there's nothing to be ashamed of. Everybody get a bottle of water, a cup of water. I want to bless water before I go. If you are sick, if you need deliverance, if you need breakthrough, since I started preaching I've been blessing water and we've been getting a lot of testimonies from it it's your own water I just pray over it you don't have to buy water I don't sell water it's your water it's free we're not selling the anointing just get your water give me one if you're sick you will be healed if you believe thank you Jesus I want to bless your water. Most of you that watch me, you always have water beside you. Because you know we are always blessing water. Father Lord, I thank you for today. Thank you for showing me that dream and giving me this message. Thank you for telling me to come to the studio today. Thank you for helping me to obey you. Father, I command everybody's water, including mine, to turn into the blood of Jesus. I anoint it in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I release the fire, the grace, the power, the anointing upon my life. Into their water, into mine, in the name of Jesus. As you drink this water, you will be healed. You will be delivered. You will be restored. Miracles will happen. You will be cleansed. You will be filled with the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I feel fire on this bottle. This is not ordinary water. It is now the blood of Jesus. Drink it, believe, and come back with test. Come back to testify in the name of Jesus. It is done.
thank you Jesus everybody just say thank you Jesus some of you as you drank the water you are yawning you are bopping you are coughing you know how it is things are happening before I go I want to read a testimony that came in this morning I've already delivered the message that God gave me so I need to round up but let me read this testimony to encourage somebody I posted it on my Facebook page. A lot of you have seen it, but we have people watching from every platform right now. Even on YouTube, on Periscope. So some of you are not on my Facebook page. If you are watching anywhere, I encourage you to follow me on my personal page. Belema Abili. B-E-L-E-M-A-A-B-I-L-I. So you can also see. I try to post things on every platform, but follow me on my personal page. She said, good morning, woman of God. This is the first message I saw when I woke up today. Good morning, woman of God. And how are you doing today? Mama, I just want to say thank God and you so much for everything you do for us. We really appreciate you. I have been in the U.S. for 17 years. Everybody type 17 years. She said, I have been in the U.S. for 17 years. For 17 years now and no documents. I applied since 2018 and I was denied. She said she applied for papers in 2018. She was denied. And since then, it has been a struggle for even for me to, for a job. But on April 9th, which is like a month ago, on my live video. She said on April 9th, on your live video, you, you were praying and you said, Somebody, somebody here, you've been here too long and no document. And I, and I say, that's me, woman of God, 17 years now. And you call me by my name. And you said, you don't know how it will happen. But from now till three months, you will receive your documents. Just believe. And guess what, mama? Just one month from the time you spoke that word, I received my green card yesterday. Hey! Can somebody shout hallelujah? Somebody shout hallelujah. She said, she received a green card yesterday. After 17 years, she got denied already. It's a miracle. Somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This testimony eh, did something to me today. She said, thank you, Jesus. And thank you, woman of God. More grace and more anointing, woman of God. When you wake up to a testimony like this. Some of you were on that live video when this happened. You remember it was a month ago less than three months she was not even expecting it she checked her mail yesterday and her green card was there how in a corona virus season like she had been denied already it has to be god if you are here today and you are going through the same problem you don't have your paper put your hand on the screen of the phone the same way i spoke over her life i will speak over your life the same way I told her to believe because I'm not the one that's doing this. It is God. All he wants you to do is believe. And it will happen for you. I told you Jesus could not do much in his hometown because they did not believe. He couldn't force them to believe. He walked away and he left them alone and he went somewhere else where they believed. So all you need to do is believe. And the same God that did it for her, he will do it for you. Father, I speak over the life of your children. I don't care how many years it's been since you've been looking for your papers. The same way this woman got hurt. Receive your own miracle in the name of Jesus. From now till the next three months, I'm speaking the same word over your life. Miraculously, you will get your papers. You will get your green card. Your work, perm your work, your work permit. Your citizenship. Your documents. In the name of Jesus. If you believe it is done, receive it in Jesus' name. If you are here and you are looking for the fruit of the womb, put your hand on your belly. I command your womb to be blessed. I remove every fibroid. I fix every tubes that has been damaged in the name of Jesus. Receive your children. I'm giving you two weeks from now. Those of you that are married, you will get pregnant in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has some kind of terminal disease like maybe HIV, AIDS or any of those sickness, put your hand on your stomach every sickness that has come to kill you cancer hiv aids whatever it is herpes i don't care i command you to come out of that body now in the name of jesus 
I speak healing over your life. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone that needs to get married, put your hand on your forehead. I command your destined spouse, your destined husband, your destined wife, the one that God has called to be your husband or your wife, wherever they are, they will be restless until they come to you and you will be married and you will not divorce. You will live happily together in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Anyone that needs financial breakthrough, put your hand on the screen of the phone. I break every curse that is affecting your finances in the name of Jesus. From today, I declare your finances blessed. Money will come to you from the north, from the south, from the west, from the east. In the name of Jesus, wherever they cage your money, I uncage it. I command your money to come to you. Wherever they put it, receive it now. In the name of Jesus, I, I cancel that spirit of poverty. I break that spirit of poverty in your life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I speak wealth over your life. Uh, receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless all of you. It is well with you. Feel free to share this. We're going to go now. If I'm led to come online when I get home, I will come. But for now, the work is done. You are blessed. Make sure you get your Bible, like I told you. Or when you download the app on the phone and you want to read, put your phone on airplane mode. So you can spend time reading your Bible. Work on your relationship with God. Stay away from sin. Stay holy. Jesus loves you. It is well with you. See you again soon. I love you. Bye-bye.